going to release this revised video to show you how to um, prime your uh, Design Jet print heads. Now there's quite a few different print heads. They come in all different sizes, but they're going to be primed up the exactly the same way. We have a little tool that we're going to give you called a Snap-on Prime Tool. Where do you get the ink from? Well, first what I do is I take out the print heads. And just reach in there. This is a Design Jet 130. But it's all the same no matter what it is. You see that little silver top here? That's where the print head sticks into. And there's the same thing down here. When you take your cartridge out, that's where you're going to get your ink from. When you take your cartridge out, it's got the same thing. Now, I don't want to tip it over because I don't want to spill it. But um, it's the same thing on the bottom. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There, see? You're going to go in there with the sharp needle and syringe we give you and draw some ink out. And then you'll be able to add it to the bottle. Because you're going to get these sharp injectors. So when they go down inside, right through that little membrane that's on the top of that exit cap, you'll be able to pull up. And that's also how to get air out of the lines in a design jet. So after I take out, oh, about 12 milliliters of ink, it's not going to take a lot to fill some of these print heads back up again. Then you're going to snap it in, the tool just snaps right in. You want to make sure it's the back is even here. And then you're going to get a larger syringe to create the vacuum. I'll show you that in a minute. But that's where you're going to get the ink from, it's from the cartridge. Now, you can leave the cartridge in and draw it up from here if you want to clear any air that's in that line. But I suggest you take it out of the cartridge because it's a lot easier. Because that's a long draw you have to do to get that ink out. Then you'll be putting the ink into this. Now this little, at the end of the hose, this little tip, that's going to go right into the back of the print head. Just like if you were to put it in the printer. A little membrane there and that's how you're going to do it. I'll show you how to take the ink out. I go right through the little membrane here in the exit port. Try to get it right in the center there. There you go. Now you see I can pull back the ink. I'm draining it out of the cartridge. Then I'll be able to put this ink in that bottle. There. Now I'll be able to add it to the bottle. Okay, now I'm going to add it to the bottle. There we go. I'll st stick it and hold it like that. That goes in like that. Okay, make sure that that's in the bottom or it's in the ink. Now, what I'm going to do is clean the bottom of that print head to make sure ink is coming out. Okay, now let's take the bottom of that print head. You can let it soak there for a little bit. Now, that's the blue one, but I'm going to do, be doing the magenta, so I'll take it out of the clip. There we go. Just let it soak there for a second or two. Then you should be able to blot it. You want to see some ink coming out. Because then you know you're going to be able to prime it up. What happens to the print heads is when it drops below a certain volume of ink in there, it doesn't print anymore. It doesn't work. And it won't draw ink from the cartridge. So it's just like your carburetor in your car if you run it out of gas. So you want to make sure you're getting a little bit out of there. Then you, okay, now what I'm going to do is get the air out of the lines of that hose. I just filled the bottle up. So there you go. See, I pull it. That takes the air out. Okay, now I'm going to put the printhead in this clip. I get it in like that. 
Now I want it to be nice and tight. So I'm going to take one of these rubber bands and I'm going to just put it around there like that. I want it to be very tight on there so it creates a good vacuum. So I'm going to do it like that. That's going to hold it in so while I'm working on it, if um, I was to move it around, it wouldn't come out. Now I'll be able to plug that in, turn it upside down. Now you, now you want to have some paper towels. Now you take your large syringe and go into the center hole there. And now you'll be able to pull up and it'll hold it nice and tight. You're going to see some bubbles. And then you're going to keep pulling it till you see it all about one cc, maybe a half a cc. We want to get all the air out of there and fill it up. So I'm holding it right here. So see it's drawing it from the bottle and putting it into the printhead. Just take your time. It's not going to go gushing in there because, you know, it's got to go into the printhead. Come right about. Okay. I'll put a little bit more vacuum in there. There, that feels good. All right, that should be enough. Now you can let off the pressure. Now when you're taking this off, you don't pull it off. I want you to turn it like you're unscrewing it. It's the way you're going to take it off. Now you'll be able to take this out. Now you get one for each color so you don't have to worry. Now you'll be able to take it off the clip. Okay. Now watch out, you're going to have some ink all, all over this thing, but that's normal. You can rinse it off with some ordinary water. Okay. That's it. You can already feel the difference.